Testing one, two, Ichi Nissan. All right, we're live. Hi guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality, of course. Today, very exciting video as we're going to be doing a unboxing, ta-da, of the Ultra Leap, which is basically the world's most advanced hand tracking technology. So I'm very, very curious to know how it works, but today we're just gonna focus on what's in the box now. Just in case you didn't know, by the way, we are doing a giveaway with the HP Reverb G2, who is sponsoring a brand new HP Reverb G2 to give to one of you guys, commemorating the 10,000 subscribers to the channel. And also Cyber Shoes are sponsoring a brand new pair of Cyber Shoes that they will give away to someone else on the channel. And I'll also be providing a $50 voucher so you can buy any keys to any games you want, either on Steam or on the Quest Store or the Viper Store. And also uh, a four winner will get a whole bunch of different keys which we'll get directly from the game studios all right let's transition over first before i do the opening just to show you a little bit about you know ultra leap and who they are what they do because you might not be familiar uh, with their products so basically um ultra leap have been around for quite some time and they have developed a whole bunch of different things i mean it's really amazing they even have some haptics um, providing you the ability to feel stuff without actually having haptics on your body. It's done completely using some vibrations and electromagnetism and all this kind of stuff. It's very crazy. But by, basically the product that they have sent me uh, is going to be this one, which is the IR. Uh, let me just go to the, it's the Ultra Leap Stereo IR 170 developer kit and it's supposed to be basically the most uh the smallest and also the lightest and you just put it on your vr headset and that's it it's compatible with the pico neo 3 pro it's also compatible with the pimax 8k so you can buy the dongle directly from pimax directly um, it's also compatible with the htc um, the varsho the links are one and it's compatible with basically the uh, the, the latest chipset, the Qualcomm XR2, which is also in the Quest 2, uh, and whichever other headset have this specific chipset. Now, we actually covered this on the channel quite a lot. So what I'm really excited about in terms of this technology is the fact that uh, it's supposed to be like tens and miles away from, you know, compared to uh, the Oculus Quest 2. So the, the amount of gestures that you're going to do using the uh, the Ultra Leap system is that it will feel much more fluid, much more natural, no need to do pinching and specific kind of things. It's supposed to be extremely natural, like real life kind of uh, natural. So here we're going through, uh, they're just showcasing a case study with uh, HTC. You can see the dongle on the actual headset itself. Uh, and it really is like this, it's plug and play. Just plug it into the headset and boom, you're done. Um, and then you can pretty much move your hand any way that you want. And then depending how the developers, of course, use the technology, you just press things and boom, you can interact with stuff. Uh, you can pick things up. Uh, you can swipe things with your hands. Um, I mean, it's really amazing in terms of what you can do because at the moment uh, there's, uh, you know, with, for example, the Oculus Quest 2, you have to specifically do some pinching, specifically do specific gestures that can make it a little bit awkward and feel a bit forced. So it doesn't feel so natural. But with the Ultra Leap system, basically, not only is it cross compatible with multiple various different VR devices, so perhaps you're an enterprise, uh, enterprise, sorry and you have multiple different VR headsets, you can then use this on all your various different devices. You don't have to be specifically tied to one brand of headset. And also if you change headsets, then basically it means that you don't have to upgrade your uh, hand tracking technology. You can just simply put the hand tracking device on your other headsets as well. So this is really what's super cool about this. I'm really excited to try it. Let me just, sorry, transition over again. Here we go. So let's do this together first. So I'm going to open this and then I'm going to, of course, I'm going to record better. I'm going to do video within a video because we're not going to be doing any editing. Everything is live. So we're doing this together. So, okay, so we have a white box. It's like a mystery box. That's quite funny because I don't see, I thought it's going to be the, the picture of the product on it and everything. Nice. Ooh, mystery. What's inside of it, right? Uh, so that's pretty, that's pretty cool. All right, so um, now inside the box 
is here. All right, and of course, I'm going to do another recording to show you exactly what's in the box. But there is a card, and we are custom, of course, to read the cards on this channel. So let me just put it here. And then let me just go to the camera. There we go. So I'm going to read the read the card for you guys. Thank you very much to the guys from Tessa uh, at Ultraleap. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for the entire Ultraleap team, of course, for putting this all together and, and sending it over all the way to Singapore, man. Thank you. You guys are top and it's really nice to, to, to liaise with you and stuff. So really looking forward to promoting your products on the channel. Um, and guys, do watch until the end of the video because I will talk about pricing, uh, some of the specs and things like that as well. And we also will do some comment shout outs as well at the end of the video. So the card says, hi, Lazius. Uh, thank you so much for your support. We really appreciate it. Uh, we hope you have fun playing around with the Stereo IR170. Uh, we've also included a custom 3D printed mouse. Okay, cool. Uh, for your HP Reverb. Ooh, it works with the HP Reverb. Wow, now that is going to be super exciting also to do some real PC VR uh, as I will put it through the paces with the Pico Neo 3 Pro, of course, which is just there. So I'll put both headsets head to head using the Ultraleap system. Uh, and I'll also be contacting some of the people who developed apps with the Ultraleap, of course, so we can share those experiences on the channel. So do make sure you enable the bell after you subscribe, guys. Uh, plenty to come soon. Um, we'll send you a few links via email or of where to download our software and a few demos. Oh, nice, excellent, thanks. Um, so thanks, Telsa plus the Ultraleap uh, marketing team. Awesome, guys, thank you so much, really appreciate it. So I'm just gonna show you very quickly what's in the box. So first we have the Ultraleap IR170 here, and then I will unbox it with the unboxing using nice camera edited, you know, film with the camera. Then we have another box in here, so this is, wow, what is this? I think this is a flask. Okay, this is a flask, so this is pretty cool. Uh, is it a flask? Yes, it's, it's a drinking flask. <laughs> Thank you, awesome, I always need stuff like this. Thank you, I really appreciate that. Uh, so this is the 3D printed mount here. And I'll also do some uh, 3D printing and I'll put it on the headset as well. So do make sure you stick around to watch that video, uh, to watch until the end of the video. And then we also have a cable that will run. Uh, so it looks like a USB cable. So it looks like it's about a meter or two meters long, which is perfectly good enough, the length. And it also has a Leap Motion logo on the cable too. So it's not a separate brand. And also there's another mount here. Uh, I guess this will be to put on the VR headset itself. And as I mentioned before, I will do more testing, put it on the headset. Guys, I've ordered a new power supply because I can't use my GPU on my computer at the moment, which means I can't do any editing or use Unity or develop things or, or, or use Steam or anything like that, otherwise it will crash. It will arrive on December 6th, just to let you guys know. So, and an Ultralip t-shirt, nice, I really like that. I love it when sponsors provide us, you know, T-shirts, HB if you're watching, Pico if you're watching, send us some T-shirts, we'd love to wear them on the channel. Of course, we have some VR Essentials merch, link in the description below. You guys are very welcome to, uh, to, to, to help the channel grow by purchasing our merch too. And we have some stickers, so awesome. So inside of the actual box, uh, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna take out the actual Ultra Leap Stereo IR170 from the box and then see what's inside of it. Of course, it's the actual stereo IR170. It can't be anything else, right? Um, so when we open it up, first of all, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of uh, instructions inside of a nicely, neatly put uh, instruction booklet. Uh, and there's uh, various different resources there. Of course, I have to go through it and find out exactly how to install it, all this kind of stuff. So do hit the enable bell uh, after you subscribe because I'll be posting future videos as to how to install it and all that kind of stuff. And then you have uh, the actual dongle for the hand tracking uh, of the IR170 there. And you can see the logo on it. So it gives you, uh, you know, uh, it, it gives you like orientation in terms of how, which way to put it on the actual uh, headset itself. So let me show you this uh, right away. So first, uh, just some close up shots of the actual product so you can see. So um, it's very thin, very light. Uh, there's absolutely no scratches whatsoever. The build quality is not too bad. 
uh, I would say it's quite professional in terms of how it's put together. Um, I think, of course, because this is a development kit, perhaps the only thing that's missing uh, would be like a solid casing around it, maybe just some protection casing. But I'm sure that the future one will be similar to the previous product that they released where it will look super slick, super nice. You know, basically the, the aesthetics part in terms of, you know, what it would look like, but it wouldn't change how it would actually work. And then um, basically here what we can do, is, what I can show you is the actual casing on the HP Reverb G2. So I put on the actual camera, which I think I put upside down by mistake because you can see the logo is upside down. Um, but the, the 3D printed mount was actually very easy to put on. Of course, in the future, uh, you know, when they have more professional uh, accessories that are, that are put out and of course, uh, and, and also a lot of the stuff will be inbuilt in the future inside of the actual, uh, you know, VR um, headset. So all this, you know, won't be a matter in the future. Uh, but to begin with the development kit, you know, it's, uh, it, it's pretty steady there, pretty stern. It won't fall off. Um, the actual part of the tracker slots into the actual 3D model. There's no tape to put or anything. Uh, so it's very steady, it doesn't fall out. Uh, you know, don't worry about anything like that. Uh, especially when you're using the um, HP Reverb G2. And then uh, this is what it looks like when I put it on my head. So just to show you, it's extremely light. It really doesn't feel like I got anything on my headset whatsoever. It's very light. Everything good. Everything cool. Don't have to worry about anything. Just boom, bam, bam, there. Bish. All good, as they say. So that is... Fantastic. Uh, then I just want to show you what it looks like. Uh, oh, so this is where I remove it from the actual headset just to show you. So you just slot it out and that's it. Boom. You're done. It's that easy. There's no fiddling around, nothing. Look, let me show you. So fast. Boom. That's it. Done. Nothing breaks. Everything steady. So all good. Uh, all right. Let me show you. So for the um, Pico Neo 3, however, the Pico Neo 3 Pro, of course, I had to use some double-sided tape. Uh, because I don't have the mount. And I wasn't expecting the mount for the HP Reverb G2. So thank you very much, guys, uh, at UltraLeap uh, for, you know, sending me that. So here you can basically see me, um, you know, oh, just wobbling the camera, just putting some double side tape uh, on the actual Pico Neo 3 Pro. Now, the green thing you see here is actually the protection, protection sticker on the actual headset. So I didn't remove it because I like to keep keep them on. Um, so it's a good thing that I kept it on actually because I can put the double-sided tape on the actual plastic cover or plastic uh, sticker of the actual headset itself. So that's actually very useful because it means that when I remove the plastic cover later uh, I won't see the mark of the tape. So you can see the tape here on the headset, the double-sided tape, and then boom! I just slot it on there. Now, I'm not quite sure if it's the best place to put it, to be honest. I'm trying to make sure that I don't hide the tracking cameras here on the headset, on the right, on the left, and on the right also. Perhaps I should put it more on the white part, but because there is a plastic sticker here, I, I, I decided to put it there, and it should be absolutely fine. So here's some other shots, a uh, close-up, just to show you what it looks like. So, of course, again, it's a development kit, so aesthetically, uh, yeah, it looks fine. I mean, it just looks fine. Here's another close-up shot. So this time I put it correct because the logo is showing downwards. Uh, so that's how I know. And then one more shot here. Close-up. So you can see it's all, way, all nice, neatly built in. Uh, no issues whatsoever. No scratches. Professionally done. It's pretty steady. And of course, I could probably, if I had a 3D printer or something, uh, you know, uh, instead of using double-sided tape, I could do the same as 3D print something. And this is what it looks like on my head. So again, it's super light. It doesn't feel like, uh, you know, it takes any more weight on the headset itself. And guys, I'm just perspiring a little bit. So sorry about that, guys. It is, you know, 90% humidity here in Singapore. And guys, do make sure you enable the bell after you subscribe, as I will be doing side-by-side -side comparison with the HP Reverb G2 once I'm able to do some uh, testing on the Pico Neo 3 Pro. Uh, I have, of course, 
gotten in touch with the guys at uh, ByteDance VR to see if they could hook me up with some of the clients or partners who've used the APK so I can do some um, comparison because of course for PC VR it's very simple you just install it straight away but for Pico Neo uh, although I could use the, the, the streaming technology I could try and use the streaming technology I could do that too uh, or also the 4K DP cable uh, to the PC I could also do that so um, you know KIV keep in view as they say uh, make sure you enable the bell for those future videos so it looks very 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 cool there I'm really really happy with the result looks very nice I'm going to use this as my thumbnail I think so guys uh, let's just look let's just go to the website so um, if you want more review in terms of uh, how it looks uh, my good old my good friend here uh, Anthony from uh, skateghost.com I'll put a link description below it's a link in the description below also uh, he actually did using the Quest 2 uh, some testing so you can actually see that he developed uh, uh, perhaps he installed the APK inside and developed a very very basic demo for it I'm not quite sure how he did it but uh, I would have to go and check out his videos a bit more in depth but basically it shows you you know out of the box what he was actually actually able to do and you can see that all the all the actual rig the animation rig that he's doing live this is live is actually following all his fingers uh, so this is really really amazing and of course I'm more I'm curious about finding out how you create the gestures um, you know how you implement it into a game because I think it'd be fantastic if we could uh, use this as part of the VR app I'm developing at the moment as well so you could actually hit the racket uh, the ball using the racket with your hands instead of actually using a controller I think that would be really interesting um, you know and then you could pick up a, a, a racket a real racket and then you know play the game with a real racket real tennis or ping pong or tennis table racket or something uh, to play the game or, or a broom or whatever you want it doesn't matter because uh, we're going to have different type of rackets in the game eventually so you'll be able to pick up some different things so this is pretty cool uh, he said there are a few bugs here and there but I think he he really he was just testing it out so you know take it with a pinch of salt at the end of the day uh, when you look at the finished apps um, used on the Pimax the Lynx R1 uh, also on the HTC on the website it is very neat what you can do it's really really amazing you can press on the key on the keyboard like this I mean this is really awesome stuff I, I'm really looking forward to to testing this out you know even more so thanks Anthony for doing that video also um, so now what I'm going to do guys is we're going to transition over back to the VR Essentials uh, website so I can give some love back to you guys because this channel is as much ours as it is yours so let's let's read some comments from previous videos and uh, you know give some shout outs to you guys and also uh, welcome some new members to the channel also so let me just go and find and by the way we are on Twitter uh, so you know do go and look for us as VR Essentials Numerical 1 okay all right so let's go to uh, your channel video there you go and I will go to yesterday's uh, video that we posted which is all about a mysterious video which creeped up on TikTok about uh, showing Facebook Meta's video um, Metaverse video it could be Facebook VR the future of Facebook VR who knows uh, let me just show you very quickly uh, where's the video here here we go here it is so we, we showcase this mysterious video so do go and check out this video it's pretty pretty amazing uh, Croy VR says the TikTok video is satire it's enlightened take for sure uh, if the metaverse 50 years hence is half as bad as the also of TikTok is joking about I'd not touch it with a barge ball thank you very much Croy VR for your comment uh, Julie Lawan says it's definitely a creepy video but it made me laugh at uh, the old space stuff very pretty uh, the old space stuff was pretty interesting sorry about that thanks Julila or Julila uh, for your comments I really agree with you uh, Keone says love your videos hope your twin brother doing well uh, thanks a lot for your, uh, for your comment Keone um, Jake Swell says uh, hey oh hey that's me yes because I, I gave him a shout out in the previous video so yes that was you thanks again for commenting and my father station says that was forking weird yes indeed it very well was uh, I completely agree with you uh, let's just go and say hi to some of the people 
uh, and welcome some new subscribers to the channel. Okay, uh, so let's go to date subscribe. Let's go to the next page. Craig Williams, Labour 210. Oh, I already welcomed them yesterday. Uh, so this must be new people. Okay, wow, already. Uh, Avi Perry, Jocelyn Guerra, Paul Tuanar, Miriam Medina, Ro, Peter Miles, Karen 717100, uh, Marcello Oliveira, One World, and Pluie Left. Guys, I'd like to thank you. We're almost at, one, at 10,000 subscribers. Uh, I mean, look at this. Check this out. If I go back to our dashboard, it should say, okay, let me just go to the page. Almost 10,000 subscribers, guys. It is really amazing. The love on this channel is amazing. Your comments are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please remember to reshare all the videos on your Twitter, your Reddit, your Facebook, your LinkedIn, everywhere so we can grow the channel. And also remember, guys, brand new HP Reverb G2 sponsored, sponsored by HP, so they'll be the ones sending it to one of you lucky guys. And a brand new, oh, I don't have it here. Um, I have it over there. Brand new pair of uh, cyber shoes, also sponsored by cyber shoes, who will send you with the cyber chair, by the way. Uh, I think, I need to confirm that, but I think it comes with cyber chair, uh, who will send you the actual shoes to you and also $50 voucher for keys either on Steam, on Steam uh, Quest Store or uh, Viveport. It'll be up to you as to what you want to do. And also uh, other keys that will be giving away to a fourth winner too. So guys, remember to enable the bell after you subscribe for the details of that video as to how you can enter the competition very soon. All right, guys, take it easy and I'll see you in another video and in the comments below. Bye.